A crisis is looming for some U.S. colleges, and not just because of the pandemic. This month, we teamed up with NBC News and the Heckinger Report to look at the financial strength of colleges and universities across the country. More than 500 showed warning signs of financial stress, including a pattern of declining enrollment. You can check any campus across the country and see how it scored using this financial fitness tracker linked in this story on your station's website. Investigator Aaron Cargyle also wanted to know how the pandemic is impacting colleges and universities, concerned about the potential of lower enrollment and loss of revenue. College campuses will be lacking the usual flurry of activity this fall, even though it's not ideal for everyone. I really don't like online classes. Manthers Osini will be one of thousands of Central Texas students earning their degree at home. Laptop, the print is right here. And books, what a bag. So just simple. He's still excited about becoming a Longhorn. Osini, who spent two years at Austin Community College, applied to the University of Texas at Austin in February, pre pandemic, and was accepted in May. And with all of this happening now, it kind of like threw me off. I was like, do I still transfer? I just decided to go with it like it's a challenge anyways. We still don't know how fall enrollment at UT Austin will compare to last year when more than 51,000 students were enrolled. The university is keeping the numbers to themselves until the 12th day of classes, but they do say half of their students are opting for a fully online schedule. And on-campus housing will be far from capacity. Out of 7,300 open spots, only 4,500 students have committed to living here on the 40 acres. And just one student who chooses to learn from home rent-free is saving more than $12,000 on room and board. That's money the university is not getting. Over the summer, UT Austin said it was considering layoffs due to declines in future revenues and uncertainty surrounding the pandemic. But in a recent Zoom call with the interim president, he only said there have been some furloughs. St. Edwards University was the first in the area to make drastic budget cuts and lay off nearly 100 employees this summer, citing significant revenue decline and lower projected fall enrollment. A recent survey, which does not include incoming freshmen, shows 74% of students plan to return to campus, while 24% will be all virtual off campus, and only 2% said they were planning to postpone their education altogether. I'm very encouraged by it. Tracy Manier is over admissions at St. Ed's and says the university has continued to think outside the box on recruiting efforts. Welcome to the village. Offering virtual campus tours, one-on-one -on -one orientation Zoom calls with new students. I want to talk to you today a little bit about a course I'm teaching called American National Government. And brand new podcasts from professors explaining what to expect in the middle of the unexpected. You want them to continue to thrive during the pandemic. It's not enough for us to opt out of life for six months, eight months, a year, however long this will, will last. We're still creating. There are also community colleges, which some have predicted will be a more popular choice this fall during the global pandemic and economic slowdown, giving students the option to stay home and save even more. I'm not paying any like rent costs or anything like that. Um, I uh, am not paying like 2000 or 3000 a class. I'm paying 250 which is way more affordable. Lorraine Hellams plans to finish her associate's degree at Austin Community College this school year, which means she'll pay about $2,500 instead of more than 10,000 at a four-year state school. ACC isn't sharing fall enrollment numbers just yet, but summer enrollment surpassed last summer. How does that happen in the middle of a pandemic? I think, I think what happened is that families just had time to reflect at home and decide how do I, what do we do with this time that we have. David Zuniga, who recruits students at ACC, says they typically make their fall decision in July, but this year he's noticed many students pushing it off until August to wait and see how four-year universities were going to handle the semester. For State of Texas, I'm Erin Cargyle.
Most colleges and universities plan to release enrollment numbers after the first few weeks of classes. Online now in this story, we've mapped out a few colleges and universities. Scroll over each one to see the data we've analyzed, including how many students are choosing all virtual or in-person classes. You can also find a link to the financial fitness tracker to check campuses across Texas. Well, classes at UT Austin started last week, and the university made several changes to ensure the safety of students and staff amid the pandemic. There are signs on the floor in many places on campus to remind everyone to social distance. Desks that are allowed to be occupied in classrooms are marked. UT is also using remotely switched classroom studios, so professors can live broadcast the largest classes on campus. The battle in Washington over postal service funding could affect elderly Texans. More than ever, nursing home residents need to be able to vote easily and safely. How families with loved ones in nursing homes are taking action to make sure their mail-in votes are counted. 